to binary conversion okay that he has shown so this is binary input okay now what they are doing at passage of clock and negage of clock r bin r pointer r bin r pointer okay uh, from where actually you see that module their signal names are also defined ah here see so the b in b next g next pointer address so you just remember these signals okay now we'll see what what they are writing so one flop is there okay so r bin and read pointer are assigned to zero when reset will come okay and if reset is not there what is there in r bin next and r gray next that is assigned okay one flop whose input are r bin next and r gray next okay and output are r bin and read pointer okay clean they are uh, modeling that model which i okay. have shown you okay now read address r bin address minus 1 is to 0 okay r bin next see here uh, i will see how he is uh, performing xor operation here r gray next okay I, that is not uh, that is different r bin next equal to r bin plus that incrementer we have used one incrementer right that that code is writing okay just you see the diagram and implement it it will work okay so don't think how they have implemented just you see how uh, that diagram is enough to code just see that what adder is there put add and do the things okay so this is what this is converting binary to gray okay so you are getting this is binary and you are converting it to gray so xor operation will come when you are convert uh, converting but right it had shifted uh, he had shifted it by one bit ah right but you have to why is that shifting why it is getting shifted shifting? shifting because we have to convert the whole 4 uh, bit into 4 bit 4 bit you need to convert na so this logic